start. Hi, my name is uh, Elena Rene Pereira, and um, I'm part of one of the artists of this show. The show is called Speaking in Shadows, created by Anita N. And um, we all kind of gave our own impression on um, an essay by Tanizuki. Tanizaki. And um, we have different materials, different mediums, and different yeah, look, looks to the essay or into the essay. Um, for me specifically, it was about um, the talking in the grass and the different kind of species and how we adapt them in different weaves in the everyday and how everything kind of has a little bit of a shadow when we talk about bamboo or certain grass species and um, very much what we also looked at is how shadow can be part of it as a metaphor maybe not so much physically but also very much looking at it uh, as a sort of new argument or different discussions around um, almost the backside of things, the backside of the grass, the backside of different other materials of ink. How do you, do you relate to shadow to your integration? Hmm. How do you to that? Oh, yeah. I immigrated personally to India in 2012. And for me, immigration was always a sort of romanticized idea um, that we speak about. And there are certain quotes or kind of, uh, like people always say, the grass is always greener on the other side. I kind of say it's rather for the other side. So we portray ourselves different a lot than we are, um, which I think is also part of a shadow. Things have another side. And for me, immigration is sort of that. It's a cushioning, it's a romanticized idea of many things. That's why it's shiny, it has gloss, but it doesn't necessarily speak with that same um, candy crush. It, it also has a different meaning. Um, so I tried to work by capturing time in the materials, but all of these materials you see will most of them, as grass does, will blacken over time. So that's why you kind of see that transition happening already a little bit. And the rest of the materials would be doing that over time. That's very much this specific one. And I think all of us kind of give a little bit of different answers to his essay. His essay is very written like almost 100 years ago. It's very still relative today because when we talk about the East versus the West aesthetics. And I personally also moved here because I like East, Eastern aesthetics a lot more. I like understanding decay and rust in corners or, or dust. And how do you capture rather this kind of life and dust in different materials? Um, so yeah, I hope that you come and experience it and see what, what you think about speaking in shadows in that metaphor. Mm -hmm.